We will be voting this year on a proposal to raise your property task in Tuscaloosa. Governor Kiavi just signing that bill to add the proposal to the ballot. School leaders say they need this increase to pay for improvements to the city's school district. And Brian Henry is live at five with what exactly they want and how soon they'll know if they get it, Brian. Well, Jonathan Morgan, all that's left to do is to determine the election date right now. The time frame is late September. Well, we're just excited. Tuscaloosa City School Superintendent Dr. Mike Darium always felt he'd get the approval of Alabama lawmakers to proceed with the property tax campaign, but never assumed it would happen. But it did. In fact, the governor has already signed it. You never know. Um, so we, we, we are appreciative of our, of our local delegation and all those who had a hand in getting that approved. The Alabama legislature was the third hurdle after the school board and the city council signed off on it. Now comes the real work of convincing Tuscaloosa property owners to raise their property tax by 11 mills to fund more programs for the city school district. Things like added security, better teacher training, and expanded academic programs. Dr. Daria is very aware a similar proposal with the county school district failed last year. We see that, that funding public education is one of the more important things a community can do. Um, I think we've got a case of progress where our school system is making progress, um, connected with the progress of our city. And um, our goal at this point is to make sure that our community is fully informed of what is in this election and, and what it will support and what it won't support. If it passes, the owner of a $200,000 home would pay an additional $237 more per year in property taxes. We want to make sure our community is informed. City school district leaders have four months to do just that. And as of right now, the targeted date is September 24th, but that will be up to the Tuscaloosa City Council. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. Brian, thanks. An update.